Never again, this time, Twitter rethinks hype over second Nazi case at U.S. school and over high school in Massachusetts is in the spotlight after a graduating senior quoted Nazi Minister of Propaganda Joseph Goebbels in the yearbook, prompting the school to apologize without delay, make the lie big, keep it simple, keep saying it and eventually they will believe it, read the quote, placed below the photo of the unidentified student. Hundreds of copies of the yearbook were printed and handed over to students and parents as a memento before the school staff became aware and acknowledged the fact, having been informed by a student. They promptly responded by halting the sale of the books and offering to replace the respective page or, alternatively, put a sticker over the contentious quote. School principal Philip Conrad opted for an exceptionally emotional tone as he addressed parents in his letter of apology, cited by the New York Times. We are appalled and angered that this quote was submitted, and I ask you to please accept my deepest apologies on behalf of our faculty, staff, and administration for the insertion of these words in the yearbook. He went on to say that citing the racist dictator bent on genocide or his inner circle is upsetting and there is no place for that in their school community. He then reported on a prompt investigation on the heels of the Go Bulls quote issue, sharing beliefs that the quote had been selected unintentionally, without knowledge of its hateful background, as it featured no attribution to the author. Many praised the school's prompt but wise and far-sighted response. Robert Goldstein, a rabbi at Temple Emanuel in Andover said, I think it's very important to differentiate between what is an intentional act of racism and anti-Semitism and homophobia and something that is somewhat innocent, he said. Separately, a representative for the Anti-Defamation League ADL, in Boston described the episode as a fresh educational opportunity that could prevent potential anti-Semitic and racist episodes. Twitter most naturally took notice of the issue, including the school's apology, with many saying the message of the quote is far more critical than its source. Some even opted for a bit of humorous approach likening the lies Goebbels cited to some U.S. mainstream media, or even Trump's quotes. One user commented that the statement had long proved to be true. Other users explicitly stated that the news is a non-issue, this is notably not the first brush with anti-Semitism involving the Massachusetts school. Back in December, a number of swastikas were found carved in two desks in the school premises, including some in classes taught by Jewish teachers.